There he is, Darren McCacken. You can see he threw five innings last time against the Colorado Rockies. That was his major league debut. Quite an interesting line that you see there in those five innings, throwing 61 pitches, did not give up a hit, also did not strike out a hitter. Allowed one earned run with those three walks. Only had one swing and miss in that outing. It was a changeup of 61 pitches, just one whiff. Swing and a miss. Strike three. Good start. Darren McCacken gets his first big league punch out. This is the slider after a couple of fastballs, the two seamers. Comes back with a slider. That went up in the zone. Altuve swing right underneath it. One down, and here is left fielder Michael Brantley. The so one-one to Brantley. And that's grounded. It's knocked down by McCacken. Goes behind the mound. And it's going to be an infield hit for Brantley. McCock had slowed it down and prevented any of the infielders up the middle from having a shot at Brantley after that. Well, the Astros have runners on at first and second with one away. And that'll bring up Jordan Alvarez. That ball hit hard. A base hit into right center field. Brantley will head home. He'll score easily. Astros on the board in the first inning of the road trip. It's 1 0. Jordan Alvarez, team high, 64th RBI of the year. Got those arms extended. Still only one out. And here is Correa. The 0 1. And Correa lines it in the left center field for a base hit. Guriel can walk home. On his way to third goes Alvarez. Correa racing the second. The throw in by Kelnick, not nearly in time. Hops away from long, but recovers quickly enough to prevent another run from coming home. It's an RBI double for Correa and a 2-0 Astros lead. And now the Astros have runners on at second and third. And Tucker hits it in the air pretty deep to right. It sends back Haneker. Back at the wall, looking up. See you later! Kyle Tucker with a three-run blast. And the Astros have jumped out to a 5-0 lead in the first. A pitcher who did not allow a hit or a run in his first outing has given up five in the first. What a great job staying on that changeup. It was actually a pretty good pitch down in the zone. Just caught over the middle part of the plate. Still only one out. Five straight Astros have reached. And as Toro drives one deep down the right field line, Hanniger giving chase, and that ball is gone. Back to back Jacks. First Tucker, now Toro. Six nothing Astros. Not crushed, but perfectly placed down that right field line. Six straight Astros have reached. Five hits, a walk, two homers. The last three hits, all for extra bases. The back to back homers and the RBI double by Correa. The one two. And it's a bouncing ball left side coming on to field it. The shortstop Crawford sidearms to first in time, and the inning is over. But what an inning for the Astros. Luis Garcia on the mound for the Houston Astros. Has the luxury of that six-run lead to start things off. As you see, his season numbers, a beautiful 2.86 ERA. That whip right around one. We were talking about that all day yesterday, so that is a very good number for him. An opponent's being held to a 204 batting average in his last start. Probably one of the best of his career. This is over the shift and it drops in perfectly in a shallow right field. Crawford a leadoff single. Well, maybe JP starting to heat up again. A little slow start coming out of the All Star break. Mitch Hanniger climbs in. He's one home run shy of his career best. Ground ball towards short. Correa will go to Altuve for one. Hanniger out at first base. They turn the double play. Correa to Altuve to Guriel wasn't sure if they were going to be able to turn it on Hanniger, but they just beat him with that throw. The 1 0. And Seeger skies this one pretty deep to right center, but it's playable. Straw and Tucker are over. Tucker with the call and the catch, and the inning is over. A leadoff hit for Crawford. He's erased on a double play, and Garcia faces the minimum. 6 0 Astros, two out, no one on for Seattle in the bottom of the second. Here's Luis Torrens, 3 2. That is at the knees for strike three. Torrance goes down, and Garcia strikes out the side in the home second. And after two innings, Astros six, Mariners nothing. Garcia in his last start struck out eight. That matches career high. He's done it four times this year. The kick and the pitch. Swing and a foul tip into the glove of Maldonado. Good off-speed pitch, and that is five consecutive strikeouts for Luis Garcia. Two away. He actually got that first strike against Shed long with that changeup. This is a put away changeup. Everything going right for Luis Garcia early in this game. Darren McCacken has settled in after a rough first inning. Retired the last five batters he has faced. The pitch, and Maldonado hits it in the air pretty deep to left. It sends back Bowers at the wall looking up. See you later. Into the Astros' bullpen. Actually, just past the pin. A home run for Maldonado, and the Astros' lead is 7 0 
on Maldonado's seventh home run of the year. Little hangy and banging on that one. That was a slider up out over the plate, and Martin Maldonado shot the bat head through the zone and barreled it up and launched it 394 feet. He leaned back on McCacken right there. And the Mariners have him loaded all of a sudden. Big spot here for the rookie Cal Raleigh. Into the gap. Right center field. Crawford's coming home. Seeger wheeling behind him. This fight's the base of the wall. France is sprinting home without a throw. Cal Raleigh clears him off, and the Mariners are on the board. Holy smokes. And Raleigh with RBIs number five, six, and seven in his major league career. Garcia was just cruising along, and he has absolutely lost the strike zone in this inning. Another 3 2 coming to Kelnick. Breaking ball drops in for strike three. A beautiful curveball by Luis Garcia to end the inning. Middleton trying to work himself out of a jam. Two strikeouts for Middleton, but the Astros have Correa on at second, Toro on at first base. And that is lined in the left field. That's a base hit. Correa racing around third and coming home, and Correa will score. An RBI single for Baldonado, his second run batted into the night, and the Astros have an 8-3 to three advantage. Here's Mitch Hanniger. Got him. Career high nine strikeouts for Luis Garcia. Throws Mitch Hanniger, and there's two outs in the inning. Let's see what Seager can do here with two outs and two on. And the one two on the way to Seager. Swing and a well hit ball. Deep to right field, and goodbye baseball. Halfway up into the lower deck. Holy smokes, that was shot out of a cannon. Kyle Seager with his 19th home run of the season. And the Mariners keep fighting back. They keep fighting back, and they're right back in the ball game. It's now the Astros 8 and the Mariners 6. And Kyle jumped on an 0-2 pitch from Luis Garcia. Now base hit could get the Mariners within a run. And a 1-0 pitch. Swung on, bounce through the left side. Left center field. Terenz waved home. He'll score, and we got a one-run ball game. A single, an RBI for Shed Long. And the Astro lead is cut to 8-7 here in the sixth inning. France, the tying run at second. Kalnick the go-ahead at the plate with two outs in the bottom of the eighth. In the dirt. Went back to the split. Pretty good A-B right there by Kalnick. Murphy a chance to tie this game or put the Mariners in front. The 3-2. Ball four. Bases are loaded. Keep passing the baton. And now it's in the hands of Dylan Moore. Bases loaded. Two outs. Hey, wow. Dick, this is on its way. Grand slam. Are you kidding me? Everybody on their feet going crazy. Pandemonium. What an amazing comeback. It's a party. Pitch on the way. Inside that hit him. Up by his helmet. And Scott Service is yelling. He's out on the dugout, and he's yelling and pointing at Brooks Raley. They're going to play Houston a lot the rest of the way. The first of 12 meetings tonight. Throw him out of the game. Hunter Wendelstadt. And now the Mariners one out away from one of their biggest comeback wins. Out to left. And who more fitting than Dylan Moore to put the squeeze on the Mariners win? Six runs in the first inning, they were down, and they just kept hanging in there, hanging in there. What a ball game.